today the democracy bus is in Carriedo. Carriedo is in um, Okama local municipality, which also falls under the Sarabatman district. Today, for the Sarabatman district, we decided that we wanted to take the bus to schools um, and have some government departments and some universities is on the bus to come and bring information to the learners because this district is quite remote um, and our learners do not have access to this kind of information. So we thought it would be really in, in informative for them to receive information um, that comes with the bus. I thank you to GCIS for bringing us this program of 30 years um, of democracy in our area. Uh, you know, in our area, you, you, we don't have uh, colleges uh, or university or technical uh, colleges whereby our children can be able to study further. So such information, uh, it's, it's proving that uh, we have a reason to celebrate. And it's also giving them a knowledge of where are we coming from as a country? Remember, before 1994, the access to education was not there. It was chances were limited. Uh, now, our children, uh, they have a access of free education uh, in our schools. Our government is supporting them. And to see them uh, participating in this program, it shows that it's, it's a karma or eco karma at large. It's have a future uh, in terms of uh, them in education and get a, 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 a solid job opportunities because a majority of young people are not working. But if ever you are getting such information, you'll see that the government is working very hard uh, to make it a point that uh, our young people are not struggling as the young people before 1996. So hence I'm saying this uh, program came uh, to, to, to assist us as leaders of the community and the uh, community developers in terms of giving these young people, these children, opportunity in terms of going to university and further their studies. South Africa's 30 years of democracy mark a time of reflection and growth. Today, learners from the Ruben Berin School for the Hearing Impaired in Bethelstorp embark on a special journey to the Addo Elephant Park. This excursion is not just a trip. It's an opportunity to connect with nature, learn about wildlife, and celebrate the freedom and opportunities brought by our democracy. Together, we continue building a brighter future for all. Today we are at Addo Elephant uh, Park. We're transporting kids from uh, Ruben Birini uh, School for the Hearing Impact. So we brought them here. Last week it was a, it was National um, Tourism Week, whereby like it is free to enter. So we brought uh, kids here, and then now we bringing uh, the second group today. It's a mini excursion for learners to come to Arden National Park to see those animals. Uh, also get the experience to those nature. Uh, also to get the, uh, that experience because some of those learners, we teach them in the class, we explain that there, are, there is a national park here in Eastern Cape, it's Ado, there are animals there. So today, uh, I feel it's a lot to them because they experience that those animals they can see. After an unforgettable experience at Ado, we prepared for day two on the bus, excited for the next part of our journey. We headed to Utenaig for a meaningful MEC outreach engagement with the Zolangwini cluster at the Tamboville Multipurpose Center. This gathering was a powerful opportunity to connect, share and reflect on the impact of our 30 years of democracy, bringing communities closer and fostering growth for the future. As local government in the 30 years of democracy, I think great strides have been made in respect of democratizing the system of local government where there's strong public participation uh, through the WAP system that was introduced and the white paper for local government, which developed some phases of um, what is it that we're going to do at which intervals to transform the local state in order to be able to deliver services better 
to the communities. And for the first time, local government was grounded to be developmental local government, which means that the communities must work together with councillors and the municipal administrations, and the people must be involved in their own development. So we have to work together in this. And part of this program is that in projects that we're implementing, the maximum allocation in terms of employment opportunities goes to the youth. Here, as we're going to reconstruct a lot of infrastructure that was damaged through disaster, we will be employing young people in those projects. I mean, when we declared the disaster here, it went as far as about 1.5 billion in terms of trying to restore this infrastructure. We're waiting for the government gazette to gazette what has been allocated, after which youth participation will be accelerated in terms of that program. There you have it, an interesting and insightful engagement with the community that left a lasting impact. We then made our way to Kinako Mall for an exciting activation where local departments engaged with shoppers sharing valuable information about various offerings from local universities, clinics, government and more. It was a great opportunity for the community to connect with the essential services and resources right in the heart of the mall. We were here at the awareness. We were telling people about our services at Dorang in the Chochozil. The bus being here, it helped us to give people more information and they got information. Others, they were not aware. Some of people didn't know about our services. Others didn't know even what is Chochozil. So people got information today. When I saw I saw the government, I Yes, a lot has been done. It's been a very long walk to democracy, but it's a player who needs the to It's an informal settlement. The previous but go our streets are they are beautiful. in safe spaces. The only thing is in the next 30 years, we are dignified. when it's raining, because it's affecting us. So, In keeping the democracy bus visible to the citizens, we then took a drive to Koeha for a public participation engagement at the Vulizela Conference Center. This stop was all about empowering the community, ensuring their voices were heard, and highlighting the importance of active involvement in our democracy. Our province is mainly rural in nature, and it's not in all parts of the province where investors will come and invest in order to give employment opportunities for people. So it was important this tour for the mayors to get an exposure, one to get a feel on the investment that has been happening in the province, and also to get a feel of how they could start small initiatives in their respective municipal spaces. Initiatives that would at the end of the day lead to more investors coming into these places. Uh, we do have two ports, Port of uh, Port Elizabeth and Port of Nuka here. Uh, with 12 billion investment and 6,000 companies already on site, there is an indication that uh, Eastern Cape is in a trajectory for growth, for economic spin-offs, and I can imagine uh, if uh, without it, we would have been in this particular position. But the advantage is that we are repositioning the province of the Eastern Cape for new venture creation, for new uh, investment, terminal port, uh, that is uh, one of the business in the Southern Africa. And I believe uh, such kind of skill, export terminal, uh, manganese terminal, uh, all of those things, the diesel that we are using, uh, changing over for consumption and food. So companies tend to benefit, especially from this region. 30 years for us is a formidable foundation for the economic commerce and growth, especially in Nelson Mandela Metro, which is one of the biggest metros we have. That experience was meant mainly to expose mayors to have ideas and to learn and share from the experiences and to see what things they could pick up from major cities like Nelson Mandela Bay 
and implement cloud back giving if it's on a small scale in their respective municipalities. So that was the purpose of the bus tour and some experiences that have been led by the military. Yes, the bus is in motion and we are definitely celebrating 30 years of democracy. Be on the lookout for the democracy bus in your area. Take a picture or video and tag us as we continue to celebrate 30 years of building and growing together. This is your democracy, your journey and your celebration.